Um, there's a number of things you can do. I think the key things are following whatever the health, uh, public health measures are in your region. So making sure that you are wearing a mask, making sure that you're wearing the appropriate protective equipment required for the position that you're in. So, you know, for frontline healthcare workers, that often entails eye protection and a mask. Um, if you're in settings where you can't distance yourself from uh, someone by more than two meters, uh, ensure you're wearing a mask and ensure that mask is covering your nose and your mouth. Um, and then, you know, when you are um, interacting with people, ensuring that you're regularly washing your hands, sanitizing with hand sanitizer, whatever, whatever you prefer to use is also really important. Um, there's a number of resources in place now with the government in terms of helping people when they are isolating. So I would just encourage people that are living in extended families to um, take advantage of those isolation hotels and other um, opportunities that exist so that they can separate from them from their families and protect their their loved ones um, if they do become infected. So I think to sum up, basically follow the public health guidelines of of um, the region you're in and that will that will provide a lot of good protection.